everyone this is your Kalpana here so in this video we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation with verbal equations so we are given a second order linear differential equation and we are going to solve a problem using reduction of order method so let's get going problem solve d square y by dx square minus of 1 plus x into dy by dx plus xy equal to x by reduction of order method see here we are given variable equations right and also the given equations of order 2 given differential equation d square y by dx square minus of 1 plus x into dy by dx plus xy equal to x consider as equation number 1 now compare 1 with the standard form d square y by dx square plus p into dy by dx plus q into y equal to r okay so by comparing these two we'll get p and q p equal to minus of 1 plus x and q equal to x and r equal to x okay so let's try okay now we have to find the part of complementary function of 1 so we'll try 1 plus p plus q see in p we are having minus 1 minus x and q is x if so let's try 1 plus p plus x we'll get 1 p is minus 1 minus x and q is plus x so here plus x minus x minus 1 plus 1 gets cancelled and this equals to 0 right therefore 1 plus p plus q equal to 0 we know that since if 1 plus p plus q equal to 0 then y equal to e power x is a part of c of all 1 right therefore y equal to e power x is the part of c of all 1 where u equal to e power x if u equal to e power x then derivative of u with respect to x is e power x or just differentiate both sides of the equation with with respect to x then we'll get derivative of u with respect to x equals to derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x okay let y equal to uv be the general solution of one see already we are having u but we need to find v then v is given by d square v by dx square plus p plus 2 by u into du by dx into dv by dx equal to r by u okay now we'll find v using this equation consider as equation number two now just substitute p u du by dx r and u in this equation and from this equation we'll get capital v and from capital v we'll find small v then d square v by dx square plus p is minus 1 minus x plus 2 by e power x into derivative of u with respect to x is e power x into dv by dx equals to r by u right here e power x gets cancelled then we'll get d square v by dx square plus minus 1 minus x plus 2 into dv by dx equal to x by e power x okay this becomes d square v by dx square plus minus 1 plus 2 is 1 minus x 
into dv by dx equal to x by e power x. Now let dv by dx equals to capital V. Then d square e by dx square will be dv by dx. Right? Then the above equation becomes d capital V by dx plus 1 minus x into capital V equal to x by e power x, which is a linear equation in V and x. Now compare this equation with the standard form of linear equation dv by dx plus p1 v equal to q1. By comparing these two, we'll get p1 and q1 where p1 equal to 1 minus x and q1 equal to x by e power x. Now we need to find integral p1 dx and then integrating factor which is given by e power integral p1 dx and then we'll use uh, general solution formula of this equation which is given by v into integrating factor equal to integral q1 into integrating factor into differential dx plus some integral constant say c1 okay so let's now find integral p1 dx which is equal to integral of 1 minus x into dx which is equal to integral dx minus x dx right this equals to integral dx is x minus integral x dx is x squared by 2 Now, our integrating factor will be e power x minus x squared by 2, right? Now, let's use this formula. V into integrating factor e power x minus x squared by 2 equal to integral q1 x by e power x into integrating factor e power x minus x squared by 2 into dx plus c1. Now, we'll split e power x minus x square by 2 as e power x into e power minus x square by 2. This equals to integral x into we can write 1 by e power x. Okay, we can write x by e power x as x into 1 by e power x into again split this as e power x into e power minus x square by 2 into dx plus c1. Right? This equals to integral x into 1 by e power x is e power minus x into e power x into e power minus x squared by 2 into dx plus c1. Here we are having e power minus x into e power x. We can write e power x as 1 by e power x into e power x becomes 1. So we can write or replace e power minus x and e power x with 1. This is equals to x into 1 into e power minus x squared by 2 into dx plus c1. This becomes v into e power x into e power minus x square by 2 equal to integral x into e power minus x square by 2 into dx plus c1. Okay, let minus x square by 2 b sum t. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to x. You can write this as minus 1 by 2 into d by dx of x square is equals to minus 1 by 2 into derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x. Right. From this we will get, here 2 gets cancelled, we will get minus x equals to dt by dx or minus x dx equal to dt or x dx equals to minus dt. Okay, then x dx equals to minus dt. Right, now let's replace minus x square by 2 with t and x dx by minus dt will get e power t into or we can just write one more step here. I'm going to write the above integrand as minus x square by 2 into x for my convenience into this dx plus c1. Now I'll replace minus x square by 2 with t and x dx by minus dt. Then I'll get integral e power t into minus dt 
plus c1, right? Which is equals to minus integral e power t dt plus c1, which is equals to minus integral e power t dt is e power t plus c1. Since we know that t is minus x square by 2, then we'll get e power minus e power minus x square by 2 plus c1. So we got v into e power x into e power minus x square by 2 equal to minus e power minus x square by 2 plus c1, right? Now take this to RHS, then we'll get v equal to minus e power minus x square by 2 plus c1 into 1 by e power x into e power minus x square by 2, right? This equals to minus e power minus x square by 2 by e power x into e power minus x square by 2 plus c1 into 1 by e power x into e power minus x square by 2. Here e power minus x square by 2 minus x square e power minus x square by 2 gets cancelled and this equals to minus 1 by e power x plus c1 into 1 by e power x into 1 by e power minus x square by 2. See, we got v equal to minus 1 by e power x plus c1 into 1 by e power x into 1 by e power minus x square by 2. This equals to minus, I'll write minus 1 by e power x as minus 1 by e power x. Okay, plus 1 into, we can write 1 by e power x as e power minus x and 1 by e power minus x square by 2 as e power x square by 2. Right, this equals to minus 1 by e power x is e power minus x plus c1 into e power just add the powers, you'll get minus x plus x square by 2, right? Now, we got v equal to this one. Now, since we know that v equal to dv, d small v by dx, just replace this capital V with dv by dx. Then, dv by dx equals to minus e power minus x plus c1 into e power minus x plus x square by 2. Now we need to separate the variables. In order to separate the variables, we'll take the differential dx to RHS, then we'll get dv equal to minus e power minus x plus c1 into e power minus x plus x square by 2 into dx, right? Then dv equal to minus e power minus x into dx plus c1 into e power minus x plus x square by 2 into dx. So here the variables are separable. So we can perform integration. Integral dv equal to minus integral e power minus x dx plus c1 integral e power minus x plus x square by 2 into dx plus some integral constant say c2. Okay. See so here this integral is not integrable so we'll just leave it like this then we'll get v equal to integral dv is v equal to minus integral e power minus x dx is e power minus x by minus 1 plus c1 integral e power minus x plus x square by 2 into dx plus integral constant c2 then v becomes equal to minus into minus e power minus x plus c1 into integral e power minus x plus x square by 2 into dx plus integral constant c2. This equals to e power minus x plus c1 into integral e power minus x plus x square by 2 into dx plus c2, right? See, we got v and already we have u which is e power x. Let's now find the general solution. Therefore, the general solution is given by y equal to u into v, right? Then y equal to u e power x into v e power minus x plus c1 integral e power minus x plus x square by 2 into dx plus c2. which is equals to 
e power x into e power minus x plus c1 into e power x into integral e power minus x plus x square by 2 into dx plus c2 into e power x. e power x into e power minus x is e power 0, right? Or it is 1, better, right? Since we know that, okay, plus c1 into e power x into integral e power minus x plus x square by 2 into dx plus c2 into e power x or we can write it as c1 e power x into integral e power minus x plus x square by 2 into dx plus c2 into e power x plus 1 which is the required solution. So we have seen a problem from reduction of order method in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.